Did the flowers survive? Did the flowers survive? Let's find out. They sure did. They look amazing. They look fine. They did good. The frost, so as you know, it snowed a couple days ago. We're good, people. to O'Toole's Garden Center, my favorite spot to uh, buy plants in the greater Denver area, uh, researching trees. We're going to plant two trees, most likely, in the front yard, because we have no trees in the front, and we would like some, uh, basically some shade on the house and our patio, um, but <laughs> trees is, buying, planting a tree is a huge commitment. I mean, we're talking, that tree could outlive you depending on the tree, and it could outlive the uh, amount of time that you're in the house. So, anyway, we gotta make the right decision, do a little research, out of tools. Here we go. Question of the day? question of the day why not let's let's do it if you could plant one tree at your house and you might live in an apartment so that might be a little tough hey, it could be a bonsai tree but if you could plant one tree what would it be comment below aspen oak maple cherry there's plenty of options so one tree what would you plant i'm trying to i'm trying to figure that out i'm trying to figure that out time it is. You know what time it is. Mm-hmm. Mm. Art of leisure. Something I'm working on. How about you? Out there? Internet? How do you perform at your leisure? I need to work on that. Today was a hard day, harder day, hard to get going. I felt like I was sleeping, kind of sleepwalking all day, but Part of the strategy, which we, I talked about maybe two weeks ago on the blog, uh, to help basically motivate me to mow the yard, which I did. So part of the strategy was that I, I was telling myself mentally, and this is maybe, you know, a little tip of the day, you probably do this yourself already, is that if I got the yard mowed completely, you know, not cutting any corners, if I got it all done, I could watch a little bit of the NBA playoffs. All right, all right, and I so I got it done. We're gonna fire up the TV. Haven't, it's been, um, it's probably been like two or three months since we've had the TV out. So, gonna watch a little bit of the NBA playoffs. Hopefully the bunny ears still work. <laughs>
dilemma here? <laughs> oh, it's hard. It's weird. Basically, I just opened up YouTube to reply to a lot of your comments on yesterday's vlog. Thank you for commenting. Um, it was all about the new idea vlog where you guys are going to hopefully send me some video clips of you guys seeking beauty, working hard, and loving each other. Well, <laughs> as you know, I've been uh, working in the yard all day with the hope and motivation to watch a little bit of the NBA playoffs tonight, Spurs vs. Uh, War Warriors. And basically, it's not on TV because we only have bunny ears and we don't get ESPN. But, alright, so there's people live streaming the game through their YouTube channel, and it's delayed, but only by a couple of minutes, and so I'm a little bit torn about whether it's morally right for me to watch this for free through somebody's YouTube channel? I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe that should be the question of the day. <laughs> morally, should I watch sports, live sports, when ESPN is, you know, paying millions of dollars to do it through their TV channel, but at the same time, my gut is also telling me, guess what, this is the future, like, you're not going to be able to control this, especially with uh, Facebook Live now, it's like, absolutely insane. Alright, I digress, but the game is on, I gotta think about it for a second here. Maybe I'll just watch the first quarter? 